So I have a question for you guys. So as black people or black women specifically, we always seem to be getting upset whenever another race appropriates our culture. So by that I mean um, when people are wearing cornrows and they call them boxer braids or you know when people wear dreadlocks these are other races of people when they're wearing them from our culture and they don't really understand the significance behind it um you know like when we or like when we wear it people look at it as gross or nasty or dirty and then when they wear it you know people look at it as edgy and you know awesome and all of that but i have a quick question and just like leave a comment down below just tell me what you think and maybe or explain to me what about weaves like isn't weaves appropriating culture too because we're wearing straight hair whether it's um for example if we're wearing brazilian or indian weave aren't we aren't we appropriating brazilian or indian culture because we're wearing their hair. That type of hair is in their culture. So wouldn't we be appropriating their culture? You know, it's, I always thought that was kind of interesting that we get upset when other races kind of wear things created by black culture, but we're also wearing things from other cultures and we're not like, saying anything about it um <clears throat> and the reason why i brought this all up because i feel like weave is i've been thinking a lot about weave lately and just extensions and all of that and why black women wear them um and then you look back look you look back at history and you look at the time where we were kind of we kind of had to wear the hair in order to be accepted into this society but you look at 2016 today and natural hair is actually being a little bit more accepted you know um it's being more accepted today they're you know given that there may be a couple of people who may look at your hair like oh that doesn't look nice or that looks unkempt you know ignore those people but i just i don't think we should we, sh we should be wearing the fake hair anymore, you know? I feel like it sends a bad message to the younger ones, to the younger black children, to the to the young black daughters, you know? It sends them a message that um, our hair isn't beautiful. And, you know, I know what you guys are gonna say. Oh, I can wear weave whenever I want, you know? It's my body and all that. But you, these are the same people who are also saying, I wanna help the community. You know, I want to do this. I want to be positive for a community. I just, to be honest, I see weave and I, as uh, I see weave as detrimental. And don't give me the whole. Well, what about white people? They wear weave too. Yeah, I get that. Other races wear it too, but it's different. You know, the reason why it's different is because we have a history with our hair. There's there's a history behind our hair. White people, there's there's really no history behind it. That's why um, women, black women who wear weave are treated differently versus white women who wear weave. On top of that, black women who do wear weave, a lot of the times it doesn't even match or not match our natural hair texture. It's literally like straight hair, whether it's Brazilian or Indian or Caucasian or you know somewhere Asian hair or whatever like that it doesn't match our hair texture you know I just I I think we just need to stop you know I think we need to embrace our hair and I get it you know a lot of us have not been taught how to care for our hair I wasn't taught how to care for my hair I used to wear extensions too growing up or my mom would braid my hair so I had I had I didn't know how to take care of my hair I didn't have the proper natural hair care or anything like that you know I started getting into it maybe like two years ago is when I started 
kind of focusing on on my hair and you know why it looks like this and how to care for it and why it's so dry I, that's when I began learning um, I think we as a black woman need to do that because quite frankly I feel like it's it's like we just don't want to deal with our hair you know we'll make up all these excuses like oh yeah it's it's too hard and I just don't have the time and you know like you make time see the thing is if our mothers taught us from an early early age to take care of our hair our mind would have been used to thinking okay that is how I take care of my hair by the t and then by the time we grew up we wouldn't be thinking oh it's hard this is difficult we wouldn't be thinking that because we would have learned this is the way I take care of my hair this is the way I co-wash this is the way I detangle my hair we wouldn't be thinking it's difficult or or hard to manage we wouldn't be thinking anything like that you know yes think of the, the message that is sending on top of that it's not even black woman wearing weave that's not an accurate representation of how a black woman looks like you know that's not an accurate representation we need to take pride in our hair 4a 3b 4b 4c okay i have kinky hair too i don't have you know that curly mixed hair that they keep promoting you know in media I don't have that I have kinky ass 4c hair guys but I'm learning to deal with it I'm learning to manage it and I'm learning to love it love the way it feels you should do the same thing so um if you guys have any questions or comments you can leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time